Uh, lastly, we're looking at the arterial supply to the circle of Willis, not for detail, uh, that will be covered uh, in uh, another lecture, but the purpose of your understanding at this point is to remember that the internal carotid arteries and the vertebral arteries are the vessels that are going to supply the cerebral uh, circulation. The internal carotids are shown here and here. There are no branches of the internal carotid arteries until you get into the skull, and then you can start to see uh, some of the branches here. And again, those will be described in detail in a, another uh, lecture. The vertebral arteries are shown uh, here, these major vessels, and uh, they come together, join to form the basilar artery that we see here. Uh, the take-home message here is that the internal carotid arteries contribute to what is known as the anterior circulation uh, to the brain through uh, their branching pattern that we see around here, whereas the posterior uh, circulation is supplied uh, by the vertebral uh, arteries. Here's the internal carotid artery uh, labeled for you. And then here's the vertebral artery uh, labeled uh, for you as well.